On gaming, okay, one hundred and twenty eight thousand. It's a big number. Oh, wait, what? I copied Scrapman's parachute perfectly, except in the wrong game. So this is supposed to be super original content? I was actually watching one of Scrapman's videos and I saw recently that he made a parachute in Trailmakers. And so I thought, let's just take his exact build and copy it 100% and put it in Scrap Mechanic because here on the channel, we believe in nothing but original content. This is what qualifies as original content? All right, Can Gaming, I'll show you that you're not the only one who can be original here. A centipede walker that crawls over obstacles. All right, well, you know what? This guy wants to build my trail makers creations in scrap mechanic. Then I'm just gonna build his scrap mechanic creations in trail makers. How's that for original content, Khan? All right, just gotta go back to the old trusty Google here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and today we're going to be trying to build a centipede that walks over obstacles, so almost like a wall climbing type centipede. Now, in order to make this really unique and original, I'm actually going to be copying Khan's version of the centipede almost exactly as closely as I can that he built in Scrap Mechanic, and we're going to see how it works in Trail Makers. So looking here at the creation that he made in Scrap Mechanic, it looks like he's got these not even wheels on it. It looks like he's got like weird pegs for legs and he has a bunch of uh, segments that follow one another. And then he put downwards thrusters in each one of these segments to help it uh, stick to walls and climb over obstacles. He's got two lights on the front. How many segments does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there we go. This is going to be much easier with the thrusters here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so 10 segments, these weird peg things, lights on the front. Let's go ahead and copy this thing and we're gonna see how it performs in Trail Makers. Apparently this is how you make super original content on YouTube nowadays. Now bearings and stuff work a little bit differently in, in Trail Makers than they do in Scrap Mechanic and they're a little bit bulkier. So this creation is gonna be slightly bigger probably. So before we start with the head, it might be easier to start with a body piece because all the body pieces are identical except for the head. Since this doesn't actually have a center point and these thrusters are relatively small anyway, I'm gonna put two of them next to each other for symmetry's sake and extra power. All right, so now now we have the awkward thing of the rotating bearings, and I think what I'm going to use for this is the rotating servo. We could use the spinning servo, but I think the rotating servo is going to be stronger and more compact, so it's like a double bonus. And then we has these weirdly shaped legs. He kind of has like pe weird peg leg things. I really don't know why he chose that, so I think I'm going to go with that. And then we just need to kind of shape it a little bit to make it look better. And actually, I think I have a perfect single piece that we need to do that, which is this piece right here. And I think that looks like almost a perfect representation just with the up to trail maker's scale with the two wide blocks instead of the one wide with the center point. All right, so for the settings on this, we need these. These things are going to pretty much rotate opposite each other, I think. But we're going to set these to go 360 degrees and hold position should allow us to just kind of keep it going. All right, so now if we just copy this to the other side and then rotate this one by 180 degrees just like that, we should pretty much have it ready to go. We just gotta make sure that this is in the right orientation now. Yeah, W for forward, S for backwards, and everything else looks like it's gonna be the same. All right, so let's just do a quick test of what we got right now. I'm just gonna slap a seat on it, and then we'll just see if it works the way I hope it does. Oh. 
it does doesn't rotate quite the same way. Let me put the indestructible seat on it so we can actually see it rotate. That's looking pretty good. What about thrust? I don't know how strong that thrust is, to be honest. I think it's on max power. Okay, so now he has 10 of these, including the head. So I'm gonna copy and paste this nine times with a trailer hinge attached to it, just like that. And then we just gotta form the head and see if it works. Oh, each other segment, I did this wrong. Each other segment has to be opposite leg orientations. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And now, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I see a problem. I think these are gonna run into each other. All right, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really... Oh, no, the camera's not gonna agree with this either. Uh-oh. You know what? It's okay. This is all fine. There's nothing wrong with this at all. This is gonna work just fine. And that should hopefully keep us in check here. Let's just do a quick test. Yeah, they're close. Those legs are really close to each other. But you know what? I think they're good. I think we're good now. And then we can just add some lights to this thing and it's gonna be like an exact replica. There we go, isn't that an adorable little face there? Oh, I almost forgot about the He actually, he used my colors. Oh, perfect. He actually used black and red. So we just gotta paint the legs black and the rest of it just stays red. It's perfect. All right, guys. Check this thing out. This is like pretty much an exact replica of the scrap mechanic version. Let's just see how it performs now. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and activate the thrust and let her rip. Oh, okay, actually this isn't so bad other than the, the wonky camera. Oh, I have no turning. I have, I'm not controlling this in, in any way whatsoever when it comes to turning. And these servos could definitely go faster. All right, so I've updated it with turning hinges on the front and back sections, and I've doubled the speed of the leg servo. So let's check the turning real quick. All right, so let's activate the thrust and check out the leg speed now. Oh, that looks, that looks perfect. All right, can I turn left? Oh, no way. It's actually working. Can I turn right? Oh, 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 I'm <laughs> seeing some pieces fly off. The drill makers has destruction physics, and the scrap mechanic does not. Well, they have like some destruction physics, but not like all around destruction physics. Okay, so now we have the ultimate test of does this thing actually go over obstacles in the same way that his does? Whoa, look what happens when I don't use um the thrusters. The head, like it lifts off the ground. We have almost a flying centipede. Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. All right, back towards the ground. Okay, that actually does make a difference. That's good. Now let's see, can we actually get up a hill? This would have been so much easier with wheels, man. Why don't you just use wheels? Oh, oh, is it gonna work? Oh, we're losing traction. Oh, we're really losing traction here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay. Yeah, we're sliding down. We're sliding down. Our tail isn't doing too well. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's back up. Um, could his back up? I don't know if he could go in reverse. All right, we're backing up now. All right, now we're gonna go back forward. Okay, just ignore the camera work. I'm not, I'm not in control of that. All right, let's see. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit slower this time. Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Please. Please. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so this doesn't seem to be giving us enough downforce to stick, or our legs just don't have enough traction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace these mini thrusters with dragon thrusters. They take a little bit of a time to warm up, though. Are they gonna be strong enough to make a difference? All right, so I think it has been successfully updated with dragon thrusters. So let's see if this is going to make a huge difference. All right, we should be able to press. It. Oh, 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 it's amazing. Oh, the smoke is amazing. I didn't even think about the smoke. All right, go, go. Oh, my front one doesn't have dragon thrusters. Oh, it is. Oh, this does not feel better. I can't turn anymore. Why can't I turn? Oh, there we go. Now we're turning. All right, go up the hill. Please work. This actually. It, oh, no. Uh oh, 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 no. It's going back down the hill. It's not going up the hill. Why aren't you going up the hill? I think the downwards thrust is just, it's just thrusting us down the hill. I don't think our thrusters are actually helping us get over obstacles whatsoever. Oh, the smoke coming out of the back just looks so much more amazing. All right, you know, if we can't go uphill, I bet, I bet we can go downhill. So let's spawn up here. And let's see how this thing does going. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Let's see how this thing does going downhill. I gotta say though, 
the hill climbing might not be up to par with the scrap mechanic version, but the walking, like, the walking is, is just, it's identical. This thing looks just like it, if not even better. Oh, geez, the smoke is in my face. Okay, hold on, hold on here. Let's get a more of a zoomed out view. Oh yeah, look at that, going downhill, no problem. Uh oh, oh, ow, ow, up oh, there, we gotta pile up. We, we gotta pile up. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing. Oh, I'm glad I decided to go with such an original idea today. Oh, this just makes it so much more fun. Oh, can't do that in Scrap Mechanic. Well, I know the question you're all asking is, how does it perform on a helipad? All right, so we're just gonna go nice and smoothly up this ramp here with our superior control. And we look at that, see, no problem. Look, see, it's even going over obstacles. Look at that, it goes over obstacles. Mission accomplished. This is a perfect, a perfect replica. Okay, so now we're gonna take it off the edge here and we're just gonna see what happens when it falls. Because I don't know what more fun thing there is to do in Trail Makers than throwing things from very high altitudes and watching them hit. Oh, oh, the way it curved around was awesome. Oh boy, the thrusters are not doing us any favors here. Hey, we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Um, uh, no, look at that. See, that this is a huge benefit of having 10 segments. If you break seven of them, you got three left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Were we just successfully walking down the hill without falling? We gotta try that a little bit more in depth here. All right, all right, here we go. I'm gonna go nice and gentle. This is a much steeper cliff, and we're gonna see if we can actually walk down this. Maybe going up is the issue, but going down, you might actually be able to still wall climb. All right, are we gonna fall? We're sliding a little bit. But we're stuck. We're sticking. We're sticking pretty well. I'm actually impressed with this thing. Look at that. We could do this. I've decided that I'm going to throw this thing off the cliff with the thrusters off so I can let it fall naturally and see what happens. All right. Here we go. Thrusters are going off. Oh, I love the way that looks. And we are in free fall. What is happening to our back legs? What? What is happening to all of our servos? Oh, this is doing weird stuff. Uh oh, we're just gonna go into the water. This is bad. Well, that was an unsatisfying impact, wasn't it? All right, so now, now that these segments aren't gonna be flopping all over the place, let's see how the wall climbing may have changed. All right, so we should be able to stay a lot straighter going up the hill now, rather than kind of collapsing onto ourselves. And look at what we got here. Look at what we got here. I think, I think our replica is near Exact. Near perfect now. Look at this thing. It's everything we could have asked for. Look at this. Look at this. All right. I think we've topped it. I think I think we've exceeded Khan's build here. I'm going to leave a link to Khan's video down below, and I'm going to leave a poll up in this video. If you haven't seen Khan's video, go check it out and uh, vote on which one of the creations. Who did it better? Who did the wall climbing centipede better. Me or Khan? Vote up in the uh, corner right now. Yeah, so I think creating some original content here was a wild success. Definitely leave a like for the original content and uh, let me know what kind of other original content you'd like to see me copy from Khan's channel in the future. If you're enjoying the Trailmakers content, then you're definitely gonna wanna check out this playlist right over here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.